I am a convicted felon, guys. I will be honest with you guys. I'm not proud of it. I got in big trouble when I was 19. First time I ever got in trouble, too. I've definitely learned my lesson. It's over, dudes. It's so over. The rat cops got him again. The scam is rigged as drug tests. I'm gonna fucking dude. Dude, I wanna fuck it, dude. I swear to fucking God, dude. All right, dudes. Here's the scoop. Two days ago, a warrant was issued for boss man's arrest. Now, the reason for the warrant shouldn't surprise any one of you that's been following him, as we have seen him violate the conditions of his bond more times than I can count. We caught him smoking crack and weed on cam, off cam, having his little breathers, as he likes to call them. Just having a breather, bro. So he obviously failed every single one of his drug tests. But before we get into that, some of you might have missed something that happened the day before his arrest, when the red cops actually showed up at his house. Good vibes, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Red, red, red. Come on. Red money. Yo, yeah! Let's f***ing go! Let's f***ing go! Oh, shit. The cops are here. They're here, dude. They're here, dude. I'm not kidding. The fucking cops are here. Damn it, dude. Oh, my God, dude. All right, guys. I gotta go. I'm going, guys. It was at this moment he knew he f***ed up. I'm getting f***ing arrested right now, dude. Alright guys, I'll see y'all later, man. Peace, guys. Not to enforce the arrest warrant, mind you. It seems it was just a welfare check. People in chat went wild. The red cords were saying, this is it. It's over. It's all over. But then, surprise, surprise, Bossman comes back on his Discord server, saying that the cops were actually chill. Told him there was nothing to worry about. Which supports the allegations that a troll, a rat, might have called the cops on him. It was just one of those concerned calls, dude. Let's fucking go. It was the cops, though, for sure, dude. They were nice to me. Very nice people, dude. Dude, they said I was going to harm myself. Someone said I said on stream that I harmed myself. So, we're fucking good, baby. We going. If I'm going, I ain't going yet, guys. That was nice. Dude, dude, guy, dude he was a, it was like a cool cop, man. He's like, dude, dude, you're good, man. You don't got to worry about nothing, man. You have nothing to worry about, bro. I was like, oh, shit, okay. I put my sandals on, bro. I'm ready to fucking go. I think they're going to make me go to rehab on, on Thursday when I go to my probation officer. I'm thinking that's their plan now. They're gonna make me go to rehab and not go to jail. That's dude, I'm hoping so, bro. I would so much rather go to rehab, dude. You guys know how much better rehab is than jail? Trust. It's so much better. I can fucking, I can go live on the weekends and shit, dude, with my phone. It won't be it won't be that bad, dude. We out here. We free, boy. We ain't locked up yet. I'll set up the general chat again too. I didn't want people to fuck that up when I was fucked up. So be right back. Man, I'll tell you what, bro. That was like that was like the fucking like I was so convinced I was going to jail, bro. We're so back, dude. We're so back, dude. We're so back. Let's go, guys. Huh. I just lost it all! Oh my god! No way! Oh my god. And although the cops seemed pretty chill that night, and even told them that there was nothing to worry about, there actually was something to worry about, as the arrest warrant was confirmed to be real. And it was only a matter of time until he was back in jail. And go to jail he did. We rats found out about his arrest last night, and were kicked to spread the news. There's a link in the description for the source, by the way. And clicking that link gives us this last night. Now, as soon as I saw this photo, I noticed that this couldn't have been taken the day he was arrested. This must have been the photo taken during his previous arrest. And one could quickly realize this by putting both mugshots side to side. You can see that the hair and the posture are an exact match. Only that his eyes are now open. But today, we have been graced. Blessed. As today, we got... The actual mugshot from yesterday's arrest. I will let you dudes bask in its glory. There you go. So once news hit of his arrest, his discord went wild. His boss man left it open with no mods. There had been no mods that have survived his purges. So his discord immediately became a rat war zone. I was actually in there with a lot of you rats. A lot of you rats recognized me. And your messages of support and love for my videos warmed my heart. I am glad you rats are loving the content I make. So the discord still sits at this time being completely unmoderated. It's actually not as chaotic as I thought it would be. You guys can go and check it out themselves. I'll be posting the link in the description. So you can maybe go and, and let out what you always wanted to say in Bossman Jack's Discord. Because there's no consequences now. 
Although I have to warn you, there might be some people. There might be some dodgy people there from time to time posting some less than questionable things. So just a fair warning. After all this, now the question we're all asking is, how long is he gonna stay in jail? Is he getting a slap on the wrist and he's out next week? Or is he getting out in 10 days like last time? Or is he gonna stay there till his hearing on the 17th? Or are they gonna make him stay there a whole month? It's always a big surprise with these things. As well as with Lost Man Jack in general. The man's a total wild card. You never know what he's gonna do. If I had to predict it, I'd say maybe he's out in 10 days with another bond. This man might be losing all of his money every single day. But sometimes he gets really lucky. But I think we all know what will happen even if he's freed. He's gonna break the terms of that bond as well as soon as he's out. But we'll see. For me, even being a big rat, I hope you see him be freed sooner rather than later. I think I can speak for all of us rats that we're gonna miss Austin, just like last time. Our days will be just a little bit more boring without him to entertain us with his antics. Hi YouTube, hi YouTube. Mrs. Smith, stop. I made the money in 30 seconds. I lost it in 30 seconds. Grab your coins and say I'm stimming at the stack. Holy shit balls. Uh. I love dice. It's coming up dude, he's about to lose it all. I have $200,000. No, I lost. If this juice is egg, I'm gonna juice your ass, bro. Uh, this guy says 50K lost in 30 seconds, not bad. I'm not gonna smack his ass. I'm not gonna do that. Definitely not gonna do that. Shoo! I would have shit my pants. I would have shit my pants. Oh, I'm so fing dude. I'm so fing. I'm a fing dude. I'm a fing dude. Dude, I'm a fing dude. I'm a fing dude. Oh my god, dude. Dude, I want a fing dude. I swear to fing god, dude. Oh my god, I'm gonna fuck. Oh. Pickle Time, you're a huge rat. What are you doing here, dude? You gotta go, man. I'm pretty sure Pickle Time's that guy that's with all the rat discords and shit, like super active. Do you have a YouTube channel on me? Bro, what are you doing? You a little infatuated on me? But don't fret. The uploads will not stop. I will still be releasing Botsman Jack videos, as there is still pre-jail content that I will cover. I might even do a video or two, either covering his whole story so far, or revisiting some moments from his golden era back in stake. Now, I want to thank all of you rats again for all the support and the views you've given me. And if you want to go the extra mile, I invite you to become a member of the channel. My wish is to one day be a full-time creator, so all the support towards this goal is greatly appreciated. And join my Discord server too, link in the description. Lastly, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, what are you doing, dude? Do it right now, or I'm gonna... I'm gonna f***ing dude.